Whoops. Hey guys, what's up? It's, it's my doggy Bob here today with you to bring you the first episode the, the first episode that I'm gonna be doing of Minecraft Story Mode. Yay! Um, all right, let's just start because I'm really excited to do this. I've played this game already, so this is not a blind playthrough. I've played this, and I don't know. Don't touch that. I was playing Counter Strike Global Offense. Oh, oops. All right, save files. Let's do this. Let's play. Choose your appearance. Let's do this guy. I did the. All right, the Order of the Stone. Let's do this. I like how my camera changed, like the resolution changed. The game series adapts to choices Nothing you make. Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. Okay. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the farmlands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before the sword, all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. I feel like this game is Magnus updated. the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran, the architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. Nice. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Right. Yeah, okay. And here is Would us. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Huh. Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. That's Beep. easy. I'll take the, uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them. Crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building. Oh, yeah, Ruben. He's coming with us. <laughs> really? What kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you Ruben. everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know. Ruben's my best amateurs. friend, though. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. That's how I am in school. Who cares if other people at? laugh at me or something? You say you're not a loser, I have other friends. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you say that? Oh, no. Guys, I'll, I'll be now right back. I need to go it. get a drink. One, bear. All right, guys, I'm back. <laughs> Pig and Endercon. I thought we were buddies. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah. 
very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Hey, did you bring the fireworks? Hey. Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. <laughs> It looks awesome. awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought Didn't the fireworks, bought, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. <laughs> Shears definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Uh, always take, uh, always take hmm. shears. Steel, shabby. To shabba, if I might say so myself. Uh, I'm kind of blocking the chest there. I need to, bro. You're blocking it. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. He's so cute. Alright, let's go. Come on, Reuben. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, if Reuben has a disguise roll. arm, can he fly? I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Nice. Oh, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. I think this is a good place to end this episode. I know it was a little short, but I mean, I have a time limit here. This was just the first part of Minecraft Story Mode. If you want more, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps always a lot. And I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Peace out.